getting back into Elder Scrolls, I've decided to try and print some more stuff with my 3D printer, so if there's noise, please let me know, but I believe this mic will be okay. I'm still using the noise cancelling. Okay, okay, cool. I don't know that. You found it. This is definitely the place from my vision. What did you find there? A journal? Ultimate Maker first. Ah, I see now. To decipher the future, we have to know the past. This is it. Nope, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. On the installer, I want to do the exe. Seems this Tommy Bones fellow was duped by a Daedra named Azera. I've seen her before, lurking in the shadows of my visions, just out of focus. She must have put a hex on these gifts. Cursed treasures, the bane of all thieves. Desera must lead this wretched band of conspirators. The abductions, the void keys, the dead bandits, all her design. We know who she is. Now it's just a matter of finding her. Perhaps we can bait her. We Tamriel doesn't suffer curses like this for long. Daedric hexes are too unstable. Nern rejects them. Putting all three items in one place will shake the veil like moths in a spider web. With any luck, Desera will come to investigate. Tanzan, Musha, and I will gather here to prepare a gazing rite, a collaborative vision. Okay. Hmm. Have a good smile. Goblins. Mm. Oh no, they're not goblins. Often. Must be danger. I've forgotten where it's at. Oh, not the open up. No. The 
Okay. I can see it. Oh, probably like one over there there or not. Completely ignoring the fact that I've been picking up data hearts, killing them. Okay. I can't kind of think to see. Awesome. 56 minutes. Those tonight. Fifty six minutes for one. About the same if I print two at a time. Because I got a slave down here that I gotta felt. I'm being whipped. I'm oh, crazy. Something. Okay. Looks like filament's doing good. There we go. Let's get rid of it. Turn it off the wolf. Maybe it's still got the supports on this, you can't really tell, but I'm pretty happy with that. Prince Slime. Hey.
by accident. I've got a deli printing. I've blown off, but I'm gonna need to adjust the stability of that at some point. I wanna print a bigger thing, especially. Definitely hear someone being whipped. Oh, that's not actually a person, it's just a mannequin. bothered with that. It's just gonna waste space. They're everywhere in this place. One corner of my print is a little bit too close to the bed, but oh. I think it's in the pits level, but I'll. Oh. Not grinding into it until it's an important thing. Okay. 
could just be the lining. I'm pretty sure it's not. I pressed on it by accident. Shouldn't have done that looping. It's crawling around it's like an animal. All three. Really need a bed blueprint. Garlic. I think. No, it's not. This is a different area. Gathering up my gifts for me. Come along, beautiful. I'm oh, was a day drop. Or more, I'm guessing. Like a Deadlands portal. Uh, you're not these, right? By there, huh? You know the entourage. Welcome, Anna. Give me more. 
Look at that. What the fuck are you? Good. Daedric Spider, but worse. She was an elf. Well, while I'm here, some cool I can pick up. No. All oh, for looks. Style no substance. That's what sucks. And you know, water. Well, I came in over there, but I guess the exit seal. Nice. That is a different edit. Part the blowing fog. Gaze deep beyond the twilight and proceed. I see an island, a mountain of rage and a ice. great heart, pushing fire as blood, a source of power cloaked in secrets, a city of oil and bronze. A shrine to vanity, driven by clockworks. There's more. A gathering of princes. Three faces shrouded. All of Nurn drown in blood. Enough! Enough! Rejoice, champion. You speak now to... I glorify her body and make a vessel of her mind. Do not trouble yourself. She will return in time. We wait and listen. Patience. A difficult concept for mortals, I know. Such short, beautiful, brutish lives you lead. For now, Desera lies dead and my oracles breathe free air. Rhea sees but a sliver of what's to come. Even now, princes unbound. What was that? Excuse me. Oh. Damn, that's a lot of sweet rolls. Oh my. Was that? Did it very little? The queen, uh, the princes, you are now. Just it wasn't Azera, I can tell you that. If Azura thinks it, the last part, yours, hard to tell. Undoubtedly, it wasn't Azera. Damn. 
Yes, now that I've done that, prologue, uh, prologue quest. How do I activate the new quest? Wait, nope, that's not what I want to do. Oh. I'm not the biggest, not the biggest fan of the mud huts, and it's a small one too. Let's pick a level. Oh, it's a one. Not the worst time in the world, but not the ideal one. How was that? I'm gonna have to go to the Outlaw's Refuge. For a little trip, I can take you to Vardenfell. Ports of call include Sedanine and Vivek City. Certainly, a quaint port town. Mm, that giant rock, that's the prison, or at least it is in the future. If this is where you arrive in Morrowind, like the game not the um obviously the area i did arrive here but well this isn't just morrowind but sorry this isn't the first area of morrowind i've been in Glad they didn't hurt anyone. Okay.
don't know. Tell me that I mean, the one I was trying to see. Forgive me, Elgin, okay. but I have enough to deal with. I'm just a simple tribunal priest, and the trouble at the ancestral tomb was too much for even our buoyant armager to deal with. I have failed Lord Vivek and left a colleague alone at the Lord Vivek sent the three of us to seek guidance at the Andrano ancestral tomb. We were attacked when we got there, and oh, I no. was seriously hurt. Oh, no. To safety, but Damn. we failed to complete the mission Lord Vivek bestowed upon us. Dang. Canon Levul, he remained behind after we retreated from the tomb. I know he wants to get back inside and ask Lord Vivek's questions, but there's no way he can get past the Daedra or ask the questions on his own. May the three grant him wisdom. First a wounded armager, now this! By dawn and dusk, evil creeps through the shadows of my beloved Vardenfell. But an outlander arrives to aid my people, just as I have foreseen. Those words, what do they mean? What? What happened? Merciful Azura, the mother soul spoke through you. It's a miracle! Lord Vivek, protect me. That was Azura, the queen of the night sky. And you, she spoke directly to you, Outlander. I'm surprised the Daedric Prince would risk Lord Vivek's wrath to proclaim a prophecy. But she did say you were here to aid us. The Daedric Prince Azura possessed that woman and spoke through her. I've heard of such occurrences, of course, but to witness such an event. She said evil creeps through the land. I wonder if it has anything to do with what we saw at the tomb. We sought guidance in a matter that concerns Lord Vivek. I received specific questions to ask while Levul concentrated on summoning his ancestor. The Daedra ruined those plans when they fell upon Uunsi and we were forced to flee. Vile creatures from oblivion. You hear about an odd ghost or a nest of vampires. I don't know what a Daedra is already. Please, if they're still there, they'll rip Canon Levul apart. He's definitely not a warrior. Just look at what they did to the buoyant armager. Yeah, that I don't know. The buoyant armagers comprise one of the military orders of the Tribunal Temple. Right. They seek to emulate Lord Vivek's deeds through actions and words. Poor Ulnsi. Those monsters went straight for her. Her blood flowed like lava from Red Mountain. I know what Red Mountain is. Children learn of Red Mountain before they even taste Flynn. The mountain sits at the center of Vardenfell, periodically rumbling like a sleeping nix shaking its leg. Lately, however, it seems to be waking from its long slumber. Azura is the cruel but wise Daedric Prince of Dawn and Dusk. She's one of the good Daedra, for what that's worth. But for her to speak through an innocent means something terrible is about to happen. Why else would she dare Lord Vivek's wrath? The rest of it I can look at offline. What do they teach you where you come from? Lord Vivek's a living god. You don't know Lord. Yes, one of the god monarch. Okay, I should have stopped asking the stupid questions. Especially because I already know some of those answers.
I don't remember it being this small. Monsters, it's too. Did Canon Valasa send you? Yep. Oh, she did, didn't she? That means she made it to save me. Vivek, be praised. Will you help me complete my mission? Oh. As the saints declare, the tribunal always provides. We'll need to be cautious, however. Daedra invaded the tomb. Makes it hard to talk to one's ancestors. Take this scroll with Lord Vivek's inquiries. While I. I've already lost precious time due to the buoyant armager's wounds, but uh, I'm not quite sure and it wasn't my place to ask. When you're living God, a few of my contemporaries can boast of a luminary such as Varana Andrino occupying a prime branch of Honda. Who's so their seal? <laughs> it's like asking who are Vivek and Almalexia. They are the tribunal, the living gods of the Dunma. Well, I can tell you why they weren't here the last time I came. Before we go... Follow me, but keep an eye out for those Daedra. Careful. The creatures attacked as soon as we entered the Hall of Remembrance. Ah, oh, it's the scarfing. At least, at least places. used to be such a peaceful place. I came here as a young acolyte. Remember these and Marwin being haunted as hell. You had to have magic weapons to go against ghosts and stuff. If you went in too early, you'd be screwed. Unless you're a mage user, magic user, in which case you weren't as screwed, but it was still pretty difficult. Oh, we got most full spies. Where the high elves are tall, so he's probably full size, but a lot of the other scuffing have been pretty short. Decent, that's right from my memories. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, there's a ghost. Oh no, it's just one of the Daedra. Because back in the day, that it would have been a Daedra that popped out. A ghost would have popped out of there. Like a race. Yep. Oh, it's so familiar, it's weird. Like I was just ticked. Doing one of these yesterday. We kind of felt it was the same one from the first from Morrowind. Well, this room's got nice enough. That's where we came through. Oh wait, yes, this wasn't where we came through.
Pont kell, ugye? Tudják van. Then we can summon my ancestor. Oh, I've got to do some. Hello. What's my jewelry making that? Barely does shit. Now. Immediately after this quest, I gotta find this shop, hopefully in that port town. Summoning chamber. I'll call forth my ancestor, then you can ask Vivek's questions. Wait, you didn't tell me what they were. Hasn't my rest been disturbed enough by those filthy daedra? Why do you summon me, descendant? My Lord Vivek has inquiries that only you can answer. My lady, my companion will present them with your permission. The warrior poet? Very well. Ask Vivek's questions. Ask the warrior poet's questions, Outlander. Ah, Lord Vivek always had a way with words. Tell him to rest assured. The heart remains safe. An enemy of old, yes. But not the one that Vivek presumed. Later. That's in Morrowind. Sotha Seal imagined multiple scenarios and contemplated endless solutions. He even experimented with his divinity drawing. I hope that's what Lord Vivek needed. Let's talk outside. Already been through here. Mate, that wasn't a devil, was it? No. Nah. Thank you for helping me complete my task. Now I need to return to Vivek City. Have you been there? <laughs> it's amazing. Ziggurats rising out of the water, the moonlit hanging in the sky above. Hey, you should meet them. Just between us, I understood neither the questions asked nor the answers received. Well, not that I expected you. Some things aren't meant for mortal minds. That's another reason for you to come to Vivek City. Excellent. Uh, I just need to make a quick stop in Seydanin to check on my original traveling companions. When you get to Vivek City, head right to the palace and I'll meet you there. I know that Lord Vivek will want to reward. I'll be along shortly. When you get to Vivek City, head directly. Of course. Unfortunately, no. The Gunma houses bow to the tribunal. But the savage at
точки. There. Hopefully it's not as big as it was in Morrowind, because Jesus Christ it was huge. I need forever to find a body shop I need. Or maybe just my young mind couldn't handle it. Oh, okay. The city is not finished yet. Okay, interesting. What bigger uh, and a lot more complete in the world. That kind of building is what I was expecting. Thank at least not quite complete. Get it in next wood. Wood now, is that it? Alright, I'm gonna be a for a while. Look at the researchable stuff.
Let's do the max then. That's it. Right, good job, boy. I was gonna get all I wanted from that. I need that because <laughs> it's got a whole bunch more operation. research.
That'll do. That was a great deed. Rescuing Of course, they built his palace first. Oh, okay. And house for an inn. Okay, I'm not. I'm interested then. Oh. That will be a prison. Much higher than I thought it would be. Please be back. It's a big man himself. This is the person who helped me at the tomb, my lord. Lord Vivek, we don't need the help of this outlander. Oh, hush, Arch Cannon Tarvis. Outlanders have their usefulness, and this one intrigues me. As you say, I'll be in my office if you need me. Step forward, friend of Labu, and let us speak. Canon Level says you helped him in his mission. As I have written, the one who helps my ally becomes my friend. Despite the Arch Cannon's concerns, I greet you with sincerity and pose a simple question. Will you assist us further, Outlander? I have ordinators and armagers at my disposal. Vast armies of followers and dedicated priests. What I don't have, however, is a fresh perspective. Will you set a... Good. I need assistance to investigate a strange phenomenon that the ancestor confirmed may indeed be a problem. We'll start with a simple dip. The situation that troubles me has taken a toll on my arch cannon, but he's a faithful servant. Tarvis will do as I say. The Daedric Prince. I suppose the same events that concern me might interest Azura, though she could. Levul's ancestor assured me that a source of power remains safe. As for the rest, let the guess ripen in the mind, and only speak when the fruit grows certain. So he's going to think about it. I didn't expect the city to still be in progress. Nostalgia. Ah, Outlander. Lord Vivek. Wait, is that a safe? Ah, Outlander. Lord Vivek trusts too much to put his faith in one such as you. But who am I to question my god? I suppose he sent you to me so I could put you to work. Did he say which task you want? Ah, yes. We do need to perform a ritual to reveal the nature of the phenomenon that vexes Lord Vivek. Despite my objections, Vivek believes you were sent to help, so I'll do my best to assist you. Go to the ziggurat that's still under construction and tell the overseer that Lord Vivek requires the Blessing Stone. Then bring... 
You receive a simple errand in the service of Lord Vivek, and countless questions form unbidden in your mind. Very well. Go ahead. Ask them. Ah, oh, the ignorance of outlanders. How refreshing. The Blessing Stones serve as repository. If you haven't guessed yet, the phenomenon interferes with Lord Vivek. Even if I told you, you wouldn't comprehend it. Lord Vivek. Lord Vivek sees signs and portents everywhere. It's the poet at his core. I tend to be much more pragmatic. Sometimes a volcano is simply a volcano. Offend me. You give yourself too much credit. This project has been nothing but one disaster after another. How am I expected to get this ziggurat built on time when things come? Our blessing stone? Do you know what happens if we give up our blessing stone? <laughs> well, neither do I. But I'm sure it won't put us back on. Lord Vivek, why didn't you say so? But I'll need your help before I can turn over the blessing stone. The passage that leads to the consecration chamber collapsed. Trapping some of my workers. If you can clear the way, I appreciate the help. Oh. Now they're exhausted. Oh no, they just hurt. They died. All right, help there. Tell the overseer what you did for me. No problem. I see you've got the blessing stone. Look, I appreciate that you were able to aid. It's so weird being here when it's not even finished.
raise the deck. Can load my the Outlander returns. I understand there was trouble at the construction site, but you were able to save a few of the workers. Oh, I feel like I could probably do it on all on tonight. The greatest arrow from the quiver. Praise the tribunal. Did you bring the blessing stone? Stand over there. In Canon Level's absence. You will form the third corner of our ritual triangle. When you're ready, place the blessing stone and we'll begin the ritual. I'm just trying to get this off this thing. All right, just give me a second. This back together. That worked pretty well. Some clean up to do, but not bad. Okay. Hear the words of the warrior poet and reveal the source of Lord Vivek's distress. Oh, that's not good. Something interfered with the ritual, my lord. But we may have learned something. Excuse me while I compare the results to our previous research. Oh, I might have bent part of the model by accident. You won't better tell with the pan it when it's been painted. A little slime thing. Probably can't tell because the lighting and how small it is, but I am pretty happy with it. It's good. Between the cryptic warnings of the ancestor spirit. And the unexpected result of the divination ritual. I fear there may be more astir than I imagined. We solved the greatest mysteries by accident, I suspect. Hmm. I should write that down. Stop that.
learn from every action we take. Failure or success, each result teaches us something, at least in the larger sense. To be more specific, no, not as much as I hoped. Images that suggest avenues to investigate, riddles to solve. Let me tell you a secret, Outlander. It concerns a living god, an energy that fades like daylight as dusk spreads across the land. Listen well, and speak not a word. My divine energy, it drains away. Whether from illness or foul malady, I know not. You must travel the land and seek answers on my behalf. But first, gratitude before service, as I have written. So thank you. The ritual confirmed my worst fears. Divine energy flows out of me for no reason that I can discern. I felt the power imbued within my blessing stone get wrenched away as soon as you added it to the ritual. I couldn't stop it. To quote my own words as the warrior poet, no lock exists that the determined thief cannot open. Follow the trail of my missing energy and try to discover the identity of the enemy Lavul's ancestor warned us about. Something drains my energy. Find Archcanon Tarvis in his office, and ask if he gleaned anything useful from the ritual. If not, I know his earlier research indicated new avenues to investigate. Go where he tells you, and learn. My divine energy diminishes with every passing moment. But the ritual confirmed my affliction is not natural. I regret that I could not reveal the full nature of these dire circumstances until your trustworthiness had been demonstrated. Yes. While Archcanon Tarvis has always been cautious about ideas and ideologies that didn't originate within the Tribunal. And recently, that prudence has grown a thousandfold. He's a faithful servant, however, despite his narrow-mindedness. I've always used my power freely and without detriment. I create the Blessing Stones, hold the moonlit above the city, and perform a hundred miracles a day to benefit my people. I oh, you're the thing that makes it flow. This liberal application of divinity costs me. I care little for my own safety, but my people are another matter. Without my power to stop it, the moonlit will crash into the city and kill hundreds, perhaps thousands of innocents. And that would be just the start of Badenfell's woes. Yeah, that would not be very good. There we go, monster. At first, I barely noticed the loss of energy. But as I continue to grow weaker, the more it feels like an attack against my person. Let us not dwell on disasters to come when we have problems enough to deal with in the here and now. Consult with Archcanon Tarvis and discover the source of this attack. Then we can put an end to it and not worry about what... They always chide me about my flagrant displays of divinity. <laughs> like the being half blue and half gold. I'm the only one of the living gods whose power is fading. Almalaxia hoards her energy. And my brother travels. We have not heard from him for quite some time. But I sense that he remains safe and in possession of his full power. And when you say brother, I'm just meaning figuratively, not literally. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh. 
I performed that ritual countless times, and it never exploded in my face before. If I discover that you... How do you know about... Lord Yvette told you? Of course he did. It's his prerogative, I suppose. It's true. I'm much better at scholarly pursuits than field work. And the ritual wasn't a total failure. I researched what I could using the resources available here in the Vex City. To learn more, I need an agent to personally assess each location. I believe the mage seen in the ritual is Barozar, who works out of an ancient Velothi tower. His experiments radiate energy similar to Vivek's affliction, but they're not a perfect match. Mm. Find out what House Redoran controls the town and nearby mines. House Halalu also has interests in the region. I have no idea. Savage Ashlanders, like the one seen in the vision, use the area as a tribal meeting ground. These nomadic heretics deny the divinity of the tribunal and have no love for Vivek. I traced tendrils of Vivek's energy to these locations, and the ritual confirmed the connection before it went awry. Just don't discuss Lord Vivek's condition with anyone. We don't want to start a panic. If anything changes here, I'll contact you. It's still a little bit too close to the print head, but it's okay for now. As long as there's no prize. This chick. They've been still around. One frustration after another. Yeah. 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 No. I'm mean, just the hard way, but not the right way. Follow the trail, like a normal person.
Behold, citizen. Be wary, traveler. Pilgrim, I hope your confidence is merited. How the hell do I get up there? Ah, here we go. Such displeasure and disappointment. Nothing works, even though every calculation is precise. Now an interruption. How infuriating. Divine energy. I'll have you know I participated in Lord Sothis Seal's nine analyses of the exalted enigmas. But we have more important matters. I'm about to determine the correlation between color and time. And I could use another. A reciprocal exchange. Interesting, yes. I can see the benefits of such an arrangement. Such a waste repeating words. Activate the A reciprocal exchange. A good start. Keep going. No, no, no. Reset the mechanism and try again. Sequence. Try again. A good start. Keep going. Correct. So far, so good. Yellow. Green. Blue. Close. Very close. One more to go. Purple. Yes, I love it when the gears align. Such are the benefits of an extra set of appendages. The energy flows freely and without disruption, allowing the rods and the pistons to align in a most pleasing manner. <laughs> Thank you. So, how intriguing. I was just thinking about my former master, Sotha Seal, and the experiments we conducted. He desperately sought to understand the power he and his companions attained. Not while I assisted him. He had a tool that he used to drain away minute bits of his own divine energy to store and study. Could extract it and return it as he saw fit. Not sure what became. More questions. 
Odd question. Is a hammer a weapon? <laughs> Haven't a clue. Tools have a way of wandering off. I was his apprentice, but that was years ago. The Archcanon, Lord Vivek's high priest. Sadly, the gear is alive. I can think of a number of reasons that Alm and V would want to know about C and his tools, but some doors just shouldn't be open. He's the father of mysteries and the architect of time, one of the tribunal, the three living gods of the dark. It's a wonder and a miracle. All brass tunnels, glass domes, and giant gears. He was inspired by the work of the dweller. Ah, main. At Clockwork City. I can know where you go around the mountains. Getting closer to the Ash Mountain. Going to the Red Mountain. Come across the way, Sean. I got all better position. Hey no, dude, hell yeah. How are ya? Sorry. Ugh. Can't speak. I'm alright. Find some Elder Scrolls while I'm 
using my 3D printer. Uh, I'd say you probably want to make sure that you do the areas in the right order. So if you try to jump ahead to the DLC stuff, you'll um end up like getting lost with what the story is, and you'll miss you might know about stuff that has already been explained in earlier sequences. Oh, okay, um, so I would yeah look up the order so like. You want to do the your packs, and then you want to do all the. I I did all the packs at once. I mean, I did all the packs. So the fat, I did. Of Mary, then I did the Evan Hart, and then I did Daggerfall, and then I went back and then started the DLC. So you probably want to make sure you do stuff in at least in an order. Even if you don't do all three packs, you probably want to do the whole thing in an order. So, yeah. Um, if you Google it, there's a Reddit page and it's got like a giant grid. And it's basically like just a list of, it's just a you know, picture with a bunch of flow. Um, it's a giant flow chart, you, I would, I'm using that as a guide. And seems to be pretty popular, so. Yeah. Oh shit, I thought this is friendly. I gotta get out of here. Have you um played any of the other Elder Scrolls games? How Stalvari still keeps slaves? How else do those lazy mages accomplish anything? But what about the pact? How Stalvari stayed out of Hey native, have you played any of the other uh, for any of the other Elder Scrolls games? Will this be the first one you've played? Please, this one needs to get out of here. Those cultists, they're insane. Oh, you God. Keep your voice down. I'll be ready to leave soon enough. In the meantime, if anyone asks, you're just here to haul cargo. <laughs> What? Who? Uh, this one is just cultists. Uh, this one said nothing about cultists. Perhaps you are thinking of another Khajiit. <laughs> Look, Renaku just wants to leave all these crazy dark elves behind. Uh, really? You? Just leave Renaku out of it. If you want to know... No one likes a guar liquor, you clawless kitten. It happened a few days back. Weird cultists just barged in and took over the mine. This one managed to get away. But the crew chief. What do you want? You shouldn't be here. Didn't you read the House of Order in Proclamation? I wouldn't be here myself. Our mine was invaded by violent cultists. They showed up and, uh, and just took the place over. My people are trapped. I'm no expert, but it looked like the cultists were preparing to conduct 
a ritual before the Ashlander interrupted them. Probably because I heard one of them say, with this ritual we'll call forth a mystical weapon and attain the power of a god. Well, I, I never actually saw an Ashlander, but I heard a cultist yell, Ashlander thief! It used to be an ore mine, and we hope it will be again. My crew was inside preparing... Really? Let's kill some cultists. I mean, I would normally advocate killing cultists, but these guys are digit cultists, so... I'm a 3D game. Looks like a wow. guar, but different. Young <laughs> people. That's kind of cute. Apparently, it's not like a quarter set kind of thing, though. With the, um, Cultists. This mine belongs to us now. Oh, where's the river troll? Oh, Bela? There's still a mud crab at me. I don't know how the mud crab is helping me. Did you find what you were looking for in the mine? Of course. I perfectly understand. Following. 
if I did. God damn it. Oh shit. Man, this is old. That's nice. I demand to see my brother. Lay hands upon me, and you will lose them. You there. The territory of the Red Exiles shouldn't be traveled lightly. Ashlanders once respected each other, helped one another. You'd think these were house wolves or tribunal dogs, the way they treated me. Speaking of which, Lord Vivek, is it? And I thought all the tribunal cared about was building monuments to their own greatness. Nice to see. Ashlanders are nomads, but we gather at sacred sites to trade, confer, and pay homage to the past. Aldrin is such a place. That's why Chodala invited the Red Exiles here. But the... My brother, Chodala, is the Ashkan of our tribe, and I am his ambassador. I act as a go-between among the tribes. Chodala wants to unite the Dunma, and calmly end the era of the bickering houses. He hopes to convince the... Head into the Red Exiles camp and find my brother. Uh, no, just our tribe. My brother and I have... All... No, that's not... The Red Exiles... As you saw. Before I do that. And there we go. Hyper agonal potato. There's a gradient that makes sense. have survived your visit to the Red Exiles camp. Did you find my brother? Interesting. I never suspected that the outcasts were disciplined enough to keep records such as this. Oh no. I can't believe my brother would be so... brazen. <laughs> it means that Chodala really has changed. With his newfound powers and rising ambitions, I fear what he plans for the tribes. I suppose you have a right to know what I'm talking about. Take this. I found... Chodala discovered new power. You don't know? I thought... No, you're not an Ashlander. And the house elves rarely talk about such things. So our legends say. Nerevar united the Kaima and forged an alliance with the Dwemer. 
He died at the Battle of Red Mountain. We believe the Tribunal hates us. The Nerevering is a promise and a prophecy. We believe that, through the power of Azura, Nereva will return to unite all Dunma, House and Ashlander alike, and make Morrowind great again. While the prophecy of the Nerevering can be interpreted as the end of the Tribunal, I have always seen it as a prediction of hope and peace. Chodala and Seth, he uses an ash. All I know is that his new power frightens me. Chodala returned from a sojourn in the wilderness, more vibrant, more commanding. He's always been strong, but now he's fearless, practically invincible, and swifter than the fat. Chodala says his new abilities strengthen his claim as the Nerevering. I think it's the staff he carries. He had it when he returned. Hmm. Outlander, over here. This requires a considerable amount of effort, so just listen. We have a problem here. Return to my office immediately. At last, did you see what's happening outside? Red Mountain rumbles louder and more frequently. The sky grows dark, and worst of all, the people in part. Lord Vivek is... not well. I won't allow his followers to see him in this state. He continues to lose energy. I'll review these documents and present your findings to Lord Vivek. I was against bringing you into this investigation, but I was wrong. Thank you for aiding us. You should... Very well. Tell me what you learned at each of the... Barozal faithfully served Sotha Seal. He's as loyal to the Tribunal as I am. He would never intentionally harm Lord Vivek. Lord Vivek doesn't want his followers to see him in such a weakened state. Only you, Canon Levuel, and myself are permitted into his palace now. So your notes say, and this Saren assisted you. Interesting. Interesting theory. Perhaps Chordala's staff can steal Vivek's energy. Hmm, hard time in here. I need a few more. Very well. From what you discovered, I dare say there may be a correlation between the narcotic relic and the tool barrels I'll mention. And it seems the Ashlander thieves are connected to Chordala. Your evidence. So it appears. Lord Vivek's doing his best not to complain. Hmm. So, there was a tool that the guy knew about, somehow these narcotic people found out about it, and Chodola stole it after the cultists summoned it. Rumor has it the Deep Crag Den was sabotaged by one of its own workers. You don't understand. I need to see Lord Vivek. Lord Vivek isn't receiving visitors today. My lord, please let me send for aid. God, he's almost on the ground. Pain is best tolerated in private. As I have written in the 37th ballad, there must be something I can do. You can call the Archcanon. He should hear the news our friend brings us. The river drains into the sea as my divinity flows out of me. Need some work. As you can see, I continue to lose energy, and it has made me somewhat agitated. Have you made any progress toward discovering the source of my discomfort? An Ashlander? That seems unlikely, but I trust your instincts. We need to find out more about this children. My lord, the Outlander may have actually discovered something.
After further examination of the documents you brought back, I have to agree with your assessment. The Ashlander chose... Not exactly. But now that we know that the affliction isn't natural, we can work toward a solution, one that probably involves Chodala's staff. How the Ashlander got his hands on Sothisil's tool and turned it into a... Eventually. But we need to be cautious. If Chodala is as respected as you say, Attacking him would start a war we can't get to Aldrin and locate Saren. She needs to tell us more about Chodala and then help us acquire his staff. Without it, we can't restore Vivek. Meanwhile, I need to placate the populace. The people grow concerned over Vivek's continuing isolation. Didn't we cover this? Let me refresh your memory. Experience, Outlander. Experience. I have seen the Dunmer rage against the gods at the least provocation. When they realize that Vivek is ill, the people don't handle the infirmities of their deities. Very well. They try not to think about them at all. The Ashlanders are savages. The Ashlanders hold the superstitions the way Kwama. Fellow outsider in this inhospitable sea of ash. I wonder if he might help us. Outlander, quickly! This way! I've been thinking about my brother's claim that he's the Nerevarian since we last spoke. No matter how I try, the words he. My brother is respected and revered. He has allies in all of the tribes, not to mention his personal red exiles. We have to proceed with caution. Respect the Ashland. We talked to my brother. Tried to convince him this isn't the way. Barring that, we make sure the wise woman doesn't get drawn into his madness. I was hoping she'd be here. You're too late, dear sister. Despite your protestations, the wise woman has gone to the cave of the Incarnate to confirm my claim. Brother, do you really want to pursue this dangerous course? There was a time when you gave me your unconditional support, Saren. I miss those days. My brother Chodala is about to do something foolish mm -hmm. and dangerous. Mm -hmm. But by dusk and dawn, Azura put you and I on the same path for a purpose. Just He's about to claim the title of the Nerevarian and try to unite the Ashlander tribes gathered here. He already convinced the Red Exiles to support him. He's using them to intimidate the other tribe. Wise woman Dovrasi, the most respected counselor and spirit guide this side of Red Mountain. She went to the cavern of the Incarnate to meditate on Chodala's claim. If she confirms my brother's... Agreed. But I dare not leave Chodala alone with the tribes. I feel the hand of Azura in all this. Go to the cavern of the Incarnate and talk to the wise woman. I'll stay here and try to keep things under control until you return. The cavern's to the northeast of Aldrin, on the other side of the mountain. Hopefully, the rumbling and lava won't slow you down too much. Get to the cavern and talk to the wise woman. If she accepts Chodala's claim about the Nerevarian. My brother isn't the first to believe he's Nerevar returned. All of the previous veiled incarnates rest within the cavern. A statue of Azura watches over them as they Azura proclaimed that some when Chodala became a She won't refuse my claim. Just in case, make sure the Red Exiles are ready. Your word is law, Nerevarian. Uh.
question is This is going to be big enough that people ride them. So I'm surprised it doesn't happen already. the wrong way.
Because in my one, the the one we were on just had a very different look compared to the way they look in um, Skyrim and this and Oblivion. Right. No, there's no Dwemer Ruins in Oblivion, sorry. What's not Ruin Oblivion? They're a lot weaker than I expected. Oh, those things used to hit me to no end. God, I just started getting PTSD from them. Since you came for a different purpose, let's talk inside the cavern. An outsider? Surely there must be another way. No, my lady, of course not. I'll do as you ask. Come here, Outlander. We must talk. The 
it feels strange to talk to an outlander in such a sacred place, but the Queen of the Night Sky insists. I need to render judgment on an important claim, and she says you words of truth from the mouth of an outlander. Remarkable. The Red Exiles and a few others believe that Chodala is the Nerevarian. He's convinced them, but not me. I came here to consider my options. I fear a bloodbath if I occur, perhaps, but I must remain impartial. If someone else reveals the flaws in Chodala's claims by comparing him to the failed incarnates, that might do the trick. We thought the incarnates were possessed by the spirit of Nerevar, but each had a critical flaw that made them destined to fail to fulfill the prophecy. Their spirits reside here. Yes, you should speak to the incarnates. I see Azura's wisdom now. Take this pouch of blessed grave dust. Sprinkle a pinch upon the bones of the incarnates to call forth their spirits. Return to Aldrin after you have learned all you can. Perhaps we can curb Chodala's ambitions before they lead us to war. Yeah. We need knowledge to defeat Chodala Outlander. Listen well to what the failed incarnates have to say. Once I was the hope of my people, but then my claim was proven false. Now I wait, and I hope for the Nerevarian's return. State your question, Outlander, and I shall do as Azura urges. To fulfill the prophecy, I followed a path of blood and war. In the end, my path became a road that led nowhere, and I was cast down from my lofty spot. Take my scroll, and help the wise woman understand the futility of a senseless war. I've just done the same thing I did with the last one. Are the failed incarnates, the Ashlanders, who proudly proclaimed themselves to be the Nerevarian, but were found. Take my scroll and help the wise woman see the lie of unbridled power. I thought myself the reborn Nerevar, for I was the strongest. Nerevarin remains a promise unfulfilled, and I am as guilty of prideful posturing as every other failed incarnate that occupies this hall. Ask your question and let's be done with this outlet. The Nerevarin must listen as well as proclaim. 
I refused to accept wise counsel, which led to the doom of my tribe and the end of my quest to embody the spirit of Nerevar. I take my scroll and remind the wise woman that wisdom ignored is ignorance. Mortal, let us speak. I foresaw your usefulness before you even set foot in Bardenfell. Now comes a test that will challenge your ability to separate truth from lies. You must convince... Doversy's wisdom outshines most other mortals. She recognizes the futility of Chodala's claim. If she rebuffs him, however, the tribes will turn on each other and blood will flow. The staff, Sunra, it makes Chodala confident, reckless. Your instincts serve you well. Chodala's path took a dark turn. However, my sight clouds when I look too closely. So the seal built Sunra. But he did not create it with this vile purpose in mind. You must act on my behalf and Vivex. Then go, return, use what the Incarnate shared with you. Their failures point the way toward Chodala's downfall, but beware. Due to an ancient pact, I am not permitted to enter. Helping that? arrogant imposter whatever gave you the idea that i was helping that murderer vardenfell must stand everything i do in this regards I was like, wait, what happened to my thing, Jigs? That was an android for a second, but that's a very interesting place for it to grow. the moon and star you've returned the wise woman returned from the cavern of the incarnate and went right into scar to meet with the tribes chodal is in there too about to be named as nerva uh, of course use the tales of the failed incarnates to counter Cho an outlander has no status in the council the ashlanders won't listen to a word you say someone else has to present the arguments someone they trust you spoke to the incarnates not me 
I'm familiar with the stories, but I'll need you to help me choose the appropriate argument. Incarnate Runso was strong and powerful. He thought that by strength alone, he could unite the Ashlanders. Incarnate Ajiri was a champion of my people. She defended us against great threats, but when she grew to love war for war's sake, she proved. Incarnate Dana thought his way was the best way. Meet me inside. It's obvious that I'm the Nera Baron. Someone has stepped forward to challenge your claim, Chodo. Seren, I'm disappointed in you, dear sister. Enough. I shall hear your argument and render my decision. Even the Outlander can see that I'm the most powerful Ash Khan. My strength alone proves that I am the narrow bearing. Chodala puts forth his great strength as proof of his claim. Give me the scroll that discounts such a trait for the narrow bearing. Of course. Let's see what. This doesn't look right. Be careful. He need that makes sense. Must we continue to this tolerate this travesty? That's not right. Yes. That's right. Incarnate, appear! Saren, the Outlander's lies have As a warrior this and as an Ashcon, I was the most powerful of my age. But for all my strength, I failed my people. Don't follow my example. The Faithless Houses dare to threaten our land, but we shall meet them in battle, and I will lead us to victory. <laughs> This is more nerve-wracking than I anticipated. That makes sense. Incarnate, appear! I thought the path to the Nerevarian was a path of blood and battle, but my love of war was my undoing. War is not the way. These failed incarnates prove nothing! I need no counsel but my own, as befits my status as the Nerevarian. I think it's working. Of course. Incarnate, appear! I refuse to accept the counsel of the wise women and the Ashkans. I thought I knew best, but I knew nothing. That is not the way of the Nerebari. Seren and the Outlander, their argument has merit. Chodala, we deny your claim. You are not the Nerevarian. This proves nothing! Look how the staff protects me! I am the Nerevarian! Red Exiles, slave- Brother! No! Idiot. Go to my hut and get my, my, my sack. Now, right away, wise woman. 
mortal, I would have words with you. Chotala has been revealed as a failed Nerevarian, but that hasn't dissuaded him from his reckless course. Time is against you, mortal. Even now, Vivek, that pompous usurper, grows increasingly weaker. As much as I... Return to Vivek City. Do what you can to aid Vivek, and pay heed to my faithful vessel, Saren. I name her Ch That was... exhilarating. That was... glorious. And help you I shall. Return to Vivek City, while I track down my... Okay. Nach der Hauptstadt. Herself, I am forever blessed by the healing mother. The priests seem nervous today. God is fallen sitting down. As a god weakens, so too does his city suffer. I know my people grow fearful. Even the arch cannon is distressed. But the energy that remains to me holds the moonlit in the sky. At least for now. So what news? How this upstart Ashlander learned to attune Sotha Seal's tool confounds my understanding. And he dares use my power? Still, your help is appreciated. Every strike and parry takes us one step closer to ending this threat. Due to Lord Vivek's condition, it falls upon us to find a solution. Vivek must conserve his remaining energy, so we need to solve this problem on our own. It all comes back to Chotala. That damned Ashland is draining the warrior poet's power. We need to stop him and get that damn staff. How should I know? That's not a skill the tribunal teaches. Return to Barozar's tower and get Sota Sil's former apprentice to come up with some kind of counterman. You see right through me, Outlander. I have more worries than a Kwama queen has eggs. I'm talking about Chodala's sister. We need to stop Chodala. Is the bull sure to condemn the female Ashlander? Well, if that wasn't enough of a reason, remember that she's also Chodala's sister. Vivek loves this land, and the land loves him in return. He's always had a special bond with Varden. Lord Vivek's intervention stopped the moonlit from crashing into the city. He holds it above us by strength of will. But as he weakens...
someone up there. Uh, I could use some help down here. Hurry, please. I have a natural aversion to danger. Oh, I think they're being sent out to him, trying to stop him from helping me. Fuck. It's like a prawn from um, District 9. Or a. Um, one of the guys from Half Life. Just casually rubbing him blind. So hard to concentrate and maintain schedules when interruptions constantly occur. Don't they know the great gear never pauses in its rotations? So that was you up there. I appreciate the assistance. Logic has very little place in the behavior of Daedra, my hopeful associate. Studying the fabric of reality does tend to attract unwanted attention. These creatures appeared just before you entered my... Ah, a modification of my master's old experiments. Turning a simple tool into a dangerous weapon. Ingenious! Evil, yes, but also quite brilliant. Hmm. A tonal inverter should counter it. Uses sound waves to temporarily disrupt the flow of energy. No, of course not. I just invented it. I need proper components to build such a device. Hirelings. Yes, they worked for me. Before they quit, ungrateful netches. Still, I paid them well before the pistons slipped their alignments. They should know where to find the components. The situation has wound dangerously tight. But I believe the... I could, but I won't pour five-year-old Flynn into a cracked decanter. No offense.
you're another pilgrim looking for charity, I suggest you move along. I have neither the time to waste nor the gold to spare. I'm currently between employment and my own... Let me see that. What's that crazy mage need this time? Hmm. I suppose you could find a manual clockwork shaft in the Nichu left ruins. But I'd avoid that place if I were you. If the roof doesn't collapse, the constructs will rip you apart. If you insist. Deep in the ruins churns a big machine. When I was there, it sputtered and vibrated, collapsing parts of the ceiling. Lava and rock fell everywhere. That mage is a menace. Oh, he always paid well, but the places he asked me to go, each was more dangerous than the last. And if I had to hear about the great gear one more time... <laughs> Vampires. I'll find a way to make them pay for what they did to my brother. I swear it on the tribunal and any Daedra willing enough to listen. What do you want? Can't you leave a person to her anger and... You don't speak to me. Let me see that list. Hmm. Well, the crazy old maid always said there were no coincidences. The inversion conduit. I saw one in Balone Deus, right before I barely escaped from those damned vampires. Eager to become cattle for the bloodsuckers? The Burn Clan killed my brother. Damn their eyes. The item you seek was in the manufacturing, but you'll need a control rod to get a dwarven spider to unlock it for you. Because the mage wanted to send me to the far side of Valdenfell, and I need to remain here. I'm not going anywhere until I need... one mortal uh, do you have a moment let's see uh, bins mouse clothes yes dear a mortal uh, one moment he had me remember something <clears throat> master malchus thought you'd ask that he said it is a mere infinite vault of books letters and records ah uh, master malchus didn't anticipate that question uh, look monster i don't know what your plan is but you may not want to be alone when you go in there. The archives isn't as friendly as it used to be. Oh, I, you'll have to take a portal. Mortals have one. We file. A mortal. Uh, I don't... I feel like such a puny snowback hiding here in Molagmar. But you don't want to hear about my troubles. Berylzar, he's the reason I'm a shattered man, doomed to become a cowering sheep like the rest of these pilgrims. Ugh, all right. The cursed contraption. I almost had it figured out when a ghost floated up to me. No problem, I think. But then it enters a centurion. Ghost machines. No sane Nord can fight ghost machines. I dropped my notes and... Not just ghosts. Ghosts that possess... Uh. I don't know what your plan is, but you may not want to be alone when you go in there. Yeah, I ain't doing that now.
Oh, okay. Solo or by two player group. That'll come later. So, I'm going to leave it there. Cool. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and you want to check out the Twitch stream live, the link is in the description below, or you can find me at twitch.tv slash 96 Please come and check out the Twitch stream live. Cool. Um, I'll be on tomorrow night. Uh, so, yeah. Until then. Oh, I just heard someone talking. Until then. See you next time. Bye.